Hi guys, it's Emily from Novel Novels and welcome to today's video. This is my September wrap up part one. Now, before I go any further, I really want to say a massive, massive thank you to all you lovely subscribers, new and old, because I've reached my 500. Yay! Now, I'm going to be hosting a read along in January with the lovely Gemma from Reader Book Gem. It's going to be called, let me look at my notes, Celebrating the New and Enjoying the Past. And it's going to be a month long read -a -thon. The formal announcement video will be going up at the start of December and it will start obviously the 1st of September. But we will, I just thought I'd let you guys know what's coming up so you guys can get ready for it. It's going to be some exciting things and it's about pushing ourselves to try the new but also celebrating the past. I'm also going to be doing a tag video in November, creating my own tag on friendship because obviously you guys are what makes me who I am. You help me, you encourage me. So I want to celebrate friends and book achievement. So there are two of the things that are going to happen to celebrate the 500. But if you guys want me to do more, do you guys, would you like a giveaway? I'm not very good on Amazon or any of that lot. So I could give away some of my brand new copies of books that I've, I've read and I'm not going to keep. And I'll send you guys some copies or I can do a QA. and a Let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to do anything. Because like I said, I want to do a big thank you to all of you because you are... You made me so happy, this reaching the number. I'm happy with every one of you subscribers, each and every one of you, each and every comment that you make makes me so happy and I'm so grateful. So thank you so much. Anyway, let's get down to it and talk about the books that I've read. What is funny is the fact that the kids have gone back to school and I thought I'd have more time, so I would read more. As you guys saw, I've read 40 books the last couple of months, but actually I'm reading a lot less because I'm so busy. I'm doing housework, I'm doing school runs, I'm doing couch to 5k, I'm not stopping. So I'm reading a bit less, so there's, don't expect 40 books this month. If I get to 30, I'll be happy, but I'm not killing myself. I'm just going to enjoy. I've also read some very big books this month. So before I forget, before I go on, I will show you the books I'm currently reading. There is one book I'm currently reading that will give you a sneaky peek as to which other book I've read this month. I'm reading the second in this the Jenny Han series, P.S. I Still Love You, because I read the first and I couldn't wait another month to read the second. So I'm reading that at bedtime. I mean, my cut rhyme and punishment. I just started the second part two, and I'm going to read a little bit of that every day with, along with the group that are doing that. The crime punishment read long. I'm not very chatty on the group, sorry guys, but I'm just I'm overwhelmed at the moment. Very busy. Nearly halfway through Tessas of Dead Bulls, and you guys were so right. It is so hard I can't read this in the evening so I'm trying to read one of my buddy reads in the evening and read this during the day because it's very very hard hitting I mean this buddy read that started yesterday by the time this goes off I would have read quite a bit of it but this is Leanne Moriarty's The Hypnotist Love Story which I'm buddy reading with the lovely Danny from Spinelli Speaks I only read the first chapter yesterday and it's already intriguing a bit spooky a bit dark a bit scary Got a funny feeling I'm going to be scared by this book, but there you go. And then in the next, by the time this goes gone up, I should have finished this chunky book until the last, which I'm reading with Tandem. I'm doing a read along with this. Nearly finished it. It's historical fiction and it's brilliant. I would so recommend this to all of you historical fiction lovers. It is set in Lo at London, 1858. John Ruskin is an eccentric genius famed across Britain. It's brilliant really brilliant book and Tom you especially would love this so that's what I'm currently reading I'll now show you what I've already read so bear with me the first book that has got the lowest ratings is Vox I can't wait to get rid of this I read this at the start of the month with the lovely Chloe from Chloe Reads Things and no I didn't like it didn't like it one flipping bit it is putting Christianity to par and it's just slating all of, basically all the church I mean it's slating America it's just dystopic but in a weird horrible way and I absolutely hated it Jean McCullen spent her life almost in complete silence limited to just 100 words a day any more and a thousand volts of electricity will course through her veins now a new government is in power everything has changed but only if you're a woman things for a woman are really hard and there's stuff there's scenes in this for the children 
and what it does to the girl, especially the young girls, which has absolutely killed me. So there are very big triggers in this. There is a lot of graphic scenes, a lot of very heartbreaking, and I struggle with it. I'm not saying, maybe it's just not for me, but I just, I won't be picking up any more of that author's work. It's going to charity shop. The next one was one I wanted to like. This is The Quest of Queen Mary. And this is about the Queen Mary story. A lot of the historical side of this is really good, but it was not as, I don't know, it was quite informative, but not perfect. Now, everything I never told you, I ever told you by Celestine. This was good, but not anywhere near as good as Little Fires Everywhere. This is more, I think it's more sort of thrillery a bit. So this is set in the 1970s in a small town in Ohio. Lydia is the favourite child of Marilyn and James Lee. Her parents are determined to fulfil the dreams that they are unable to pursue. But when Lydia's body is found in the local lake, a delicate balancing act has been keeping the Lee family together is destroyed in its chaos. I struggle with this. I didn't understand the point in it, and it's three stars, but it was only just three stars. Not really. Sorry, guys. I wanted to like that. So that's another now when i only just finished this is the third in the court and this got thorns and roses series it's the longest and it's probably my least favorite so i won't be keeping it it got three and a half stars because the ending and the last hundred pages were massive i can't give spoilers so i can't really tell you what happens in it but there is a lot of stuff that didn't need to be in it it was longer winded than I probably want. It wasn't as exciting. I kept wanting things to get better and it didn't. I am gonna carry on the series, carry on reading this because it was okay, but it just wasn't fantastic. Sorry guys, I don't normally do this. I don't normally have a drink, but I have a cold. So next one, Love on the Rocks by Veronica Henry. This was good. Four stars, chiclet, four stars all the way. And I really did enjoy this. This is a very chicky litty, kind of quite good fun book. And it's set on the beach, so I wanted to read it in the summer. This is four stars and it was quite good. I've just realised, I'm not going to keep it though, because it was good. It was very standard chiclet. Has some good morals and I did enjoy it, but it's not a keepy keepy. I've just realised I didn't tell you about the fact that I read an ebook, which was three stars, which is When Life Gives You Lemon by Fiona Gibson. Very chicletty, very easy, very comfortable, very good, easy to read. This lady's husband had left her. They had a perfect marriage and she turned out not. Bit of romance, very standard chicletty. Then there was A Spark of Light, which was my audiobook by J.D. Picot about an abortion clinic. So that was and a shooting that happened in there that I found very hard hitting, but not fantastic. So no. So now I'm going on to my five stars. This is going to be a shorter video because I'm not, not as chatty as normal. Five stars all the way. The next Mallory Towers book. Blimmin' loved it. Easy, easy. Easy comfort read. Brilliant. Fun. Loved it. To all the boys I loved before, which was Clint's buddy, Clint's choice for me. Like I said, this has got to be one of the best series because I finished the book and was like, I can't wait another month to read the next one. This is very YA at its best. Very comfortable, absolutely loved it. And guys, I thoroughly recommend it. If you like YA, if you like easy comfort, tricky litty reads, pick that up all the way. Then my non-fiction book for the month, The Prison Doctor, The Woman Inside. Becca from Becca's Bookshelf sent me this as a gift and it is just as good as the first book, if not better. It's five stars all the way. Loved it for a non-fiction to be five stars, it tells you good. But there is a lot of triggers in this. A lot of very hard hitting and very, very good. But I will still be keeping that. Now, I think I'm going to show you the book I've only just finished. Which is The Foundling by Stacey Hawes. Again, I really love this book. It is absolutely brilliant. It's it's very good. It's basically set on the Foundling Hospital. A woman has to give her baby away She on the day, the day she, it's born. And she leaves it on the leaves it with the foundling which is like a hospital slash like orphanage kind of thing when she goes back seven years later to find the baby and to claim it back she discovers it's already been collected by her and it got collected the day after she was born so she goes on a mission to find this daughter and it's good i don't think it's quite as good as the familiars 
but it's still beautiful. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Buddy read it with the lovely Amy from PSI Love Books and Things. Brilliant, brilliant book. Definitely recommend it. I'll be definitely keeping that. Then my two joint favourite books of the month are Emily of New Boon, which I buddy read with, with the, the lovely Krista from Books and Things, and the channel, sorry, Books and Jams, and Fairest, which is the Lunar Chronicles one. This I loved. If you like Anne of Green Gables, then this is brilliant. I love Emily's character more than I love Anne of Green Gables. So that is saying something. She has got a lot of dark, there's a lot of dark scenes in this, but she is strong, she's poetic, she's caring, she's feisty, and I loved her. So I really recommend this. And this is the novella, so the next in the series of Lunar Chronicles. Love this too. 101% recommend it. It tells Levana's story and it makes you understand why she is the way she is. So this is what you call really, 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 really good. And I loved learning and I actually, my heart broke for Levana for the first time ever. So it's good. Sorry guys, I'm not giving the best descriptions. Not on my pack today. But guys, what has been your favourite book of the month you've read so far? I'd love to know. And like I said, let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to do anything to celebrate my 500. And I will see you all soon. Take care, bye bye.